G'day guys, here we are on the number 10 radius guide and let's get straight into it. So the footprint of this shape is a square it looks like, it's 102 this way and 102 that way. So grab the rectangle tool and we hit 102, 102, enter. All right, let's zoom in on that. Cool. So now we've got to push pull it up to get our 3D shape. So we can see we've got to push pull it up 52 millimeters. So we'll go up. Five, two, enter. All right. So uh, let's get started with the easy bits. We should be able to pretty easily put in this sort of step part there, I reckon. Um, we've got all the dimensions we need. We can see that it's 14 millimeters from that back edge. So we'll go from here, 14, enter. And then it's 28 millimeters in. So 28 along the green axis. Perfect. Then uh, how wide is it? It's 48 millimeters wide. So I can just put in a rectangle from this point to there, and we need to type in 28 comma, oh no, sorry, 48 comma 28, enter. And that puts in the perfect shape rectangle. Now, we gotta do this in two parts to make a step. First thing we're gonna do is push this down to the first step, which is 26 millimeters from the top. So we click, hit 26, enter, and that's the, um, that's the top of that top of that first step. So now what we need to do is grab the measuring tape. We need to measure how wide that first step is, which we can see there is 14 millimeters. So we'll go from that corner, 14, enter. Use the pencil tool to draw a line from there, straight across on the red axis to the other side. And then it's as simple as just pushing that all the way down. Okay, there's our little step. Great. Now, um, this part here where we've got a little um, part that doesn't go the full um, depth all the way through looks a bit trickier than this bit. So we'll get started over here. The first thing we'll need to do is just take a, um, you know, remove a channel of 26 by 26 from the side and we'll work on the arcs or the curves later. So grab your rectangle tool, go to this top corner and make sure the rectangle is green and we're going to type in 26 comma 26 enter. Oh, that looks pretty big. Is that, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Hit that with the push-pull tool. Push it all the way through. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, we are going to look over here on this side where our shapes are. And what to the tool we're going to... There's three different types of tools, or maybe four. Um, we've got a regular arc, a two-point arc, three-point arc, and a pie. Uh, what we want to do is just do a regular arc. But before we can do that, um, you need to think of an arc as a you need to kind of think of it as a full circle that has a center point. And we can see here, it's pointing to the center of that arc. Imagine this arc here was a full circle that went all the way around. That little point there would be the center. <clears throat> we need to make a mark where that center is. So we can grab the tape measure, go from this point, um, and we need to figure out how far we're going to go in. And the information it gives us is it's 20, the radius is 26. So remember, with a circle, the, from edge to edge of a circle is the diameter. From the edge to the center is the radius. So because it's given us the information for the radius, we know we need to go in 26. Enter. And that gives us the center point of that uh, arc or that circle, if you will. So next thing we want to do is grab the regular arc tool. Now we need to do this in a couple of different clicks. Again, just like uh, one of the older drawings with the when we we're using the protractor, we need to make sure this time that it's blue. We don't want it to be red like that. We want to be drawing on this face, so we need to make sure it's blue. If it's showing up as red, all you need to do is hit, I think it's the down key, or maybe the up key. Yeah, if you hit the up arrow, it'll change it to blue. So we can click there, and then we're going to make our second click at um, the original point where we measured from. Click, and then when I start dragging it around, see how it starts drawing that arc in? And we want to stop there where it says quarter circle, and that's that arc done. So I think it's, yeah, it looks about exactly the same on the other side. So let's do that again. We're going to measure in the distance of the radius, which is 26. Enter, and then grab the arc tool, make sure it's blue. This time we'll go out this way. Make sure the line is red, we're on the edge, and swing it all the way around to that point, quarter circle. Perfect. So now we can just grab the push-pull tool, click here, take it to the bottom, double-click that, and that part's done. All right, easy peasy. Now, we need to remove this part in the middle here. And again, just similar to the dovetail template we did earlier, we're gonna to need to put a center line across because we need a center line 
for where we can mark the center of these two half circles, I guess you could say. Um, and we can see from the dimensions here that the center of this um, shape is 38 millimeters from that edge. So I'm going to grab the tape measure, measure from this back edge, 38 millimeters across. And I'm going to go from here. Again, I'm not going to just click on that. I'm going to type in 74 just so I get a nice clean tape measure line there. Now, the first um, circle here, the center of that is 20 millimeters away from that back edge. So I'm going to grab the tape measure tool here and type in 20 millimeters. And the distance between the two center of the circles is 30 millimeters. So from here, I'm going to type in 30. All right now, I've got the center point of that half circle and the center point of that half circle. Now, the information it gives us about the half circles is that the radius is 12. So all I need to do is grab the arc tool again. We're going to click here, make sure the thing is blue. Click once, go out in either direction, doesn't matter left or right. And we need to type in 12 for the radius, enter. And then when I start swinging it around, it'll actually start putting in a half circle and it'll lock on over there and say half circle. So I can click and I've got that half circle in. Now I need to do the exact same thing on the other side. Click here, go across till 12, enter, then swing the tool around to the other side and there's your half circle. Now, bit of dot to dot, we'll click from here to there, press escape to get rid of that and go from here to here. Okay, so that shape looks pretty well completed now. We just need to push it down and how far does it say? 12 millimeters, that's easy. Click once, start going down, 12, enter. Okay, so that looks pretty well like a completed radius block. Great work, guys. So edit, delete the guides, good. And we go file, save, number 10, radius guide. All right, save that, hit new. And what are we doing next? The sample guide. Oh, okay, learning another new tool today. That's exciting. Um, all right, I'll see you in the next video.